Previously, on the last Dak Blake story. If you can get into the mind of the person, you can control their powers. What? 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 what, what no, 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 no. You are powerful, but you aren't immune to me taking over your mind. What? No, 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 no. Teleport. <laughs> teleport. No. You might be finding it hard to teleport if you already have realized this is not the normal house. We're already inside your mind. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. You can't do this. You, you, you can't. You want to mess with my timeline and threaten me. I will take everything that you care about. No, 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 please, please. I should have done this a long time ago. <laughs> but it's only a matter of time. <laughs> What's up, it's Hesgo. Today, Zach Blake here, and today we are back in Granny once more with Jax, Beth, Granny, and Eve, and we're trying to figure out what to do. Now, Xander just apparently took over my mind, but I guess with the powers that we have right now, well, we're able to kind of put up a fight, and I, I guess that's the most important part because we're trying to progress just a little bit farther each time, but... It is kind of getting a little daunting. Yeah, we've heard a lot of stories about timekeepers being super powerful, but why is it that when he uses a lot of his power, he goes away for a while? Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, we've heard a lot about timekeepers, and I guess that's through the perspective of a normal person's eye. Like, the timekeepers are probably powerful to normal people, but, I mean, me and you, we have the power of the orb, and... Maybe that's the difference? I don't, I don't know. I don't know if you think about it. You and Granny were the only people that were able to withstand Xander. You guys had to use your cleansing abilities. Yeah, that, that, that's true. So if we want to beat Xander, we have to figure out some more power. And when we have to go around, we have to find stuff. We have to be on point. I, I don't know. We shouldn't just be sitting here, you know, trying to figure something out. We should be doing something. Actually, trying to set things in action. I mean, if, if things fail, if we make plans and they, and they don't work, right? At least they didn't work, but we have to do something, right? Uh, okay, as much as I like plans, um, can we slow down a second? But I mean, I mean come on, even you say it yourself, we have to prepare! I mean, he's gone! I mean, he used his power, and now he's he's recuperating! Right now is the time, right? Yes, but uh, be careful with everything. Uh, like I always say, I mean, it's great to be, you know, on point and ahead of things, but don't be too urgent. We gotta think of these plans carefully, and then execute them carefully. Not just willy-nilly, you know? No, 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 but that's just it. That's just it. We, we have to do these things, you know, out in the open. We have to be excited. We have to be pumped. We have to do things and get ahead. I mean, I'm excited. I, I want to just kind of get this thing and go through it. And I want to defeat him. I'm not going to let him push me around. He has just said so many things to me. He's he's cursed you guys. He, he's gotten into the mind of Beth. I'm not going to let this guy go around claiming that this is just his realm. This is ours, too. Well, then, the orb is really important. We have to try to figure out something to get some more power. I mean, if you say that the orb is what's changing things, maybe we can get some more power. You're right. You're right. <laughs> That's brilliant. So, I mean, I don't know if we can get any power from the orb, but if the orb, like you say, is what's changing it, I mean, these dark arch powers, as bad as they are and as corrupting as they can be, they're helping us. And they're helping him. I mean, that demon brother... <sighs> That's changing a lot of things, honestly. Well, I want to figure out things more. I, I want to know what timekeepers are. It kind of just feels like they're they're new. Like, I've never heard of them. And, and yet, we, we've heard so many, you know, rumors about how they're powerful, but yet we haven't seen, you know, their true potential. Now, now timekeepers, is, is, is there anywhere we can learn about them? <laughs> I mean, maybe. Maybe there's a book. Maybe there's a secret room around here somewhere that we can figure out something, read something on them. Timekeepers. You. I mean, can you just leave us alone already? You and your demon brother have already messed so many things up. Do not. All right. All right, what? I mean, what do you know uh, about timekeepers? I know that you won't be able to stop him. Okay, well, sure, I, I could figure that out. I mean, what do you actually know? Not just these ominous, oh, you're gonna be destroyed, you can't do anything. I mean, you seem like you're just a discouragement. What do you actually know about the timekeepers? Silence. These timekeepers, they are the ancient beings of time, and they have three stages of power. 
power. Like I said, he's in stage two. Yeah, I do remember that. I remember there being stages, like you said. I mean, stage one was supposed to be if you were a normal human. Uh, stage two would then be us. What? What is? What is stage three? That is the end of worlds. I've seen it only once. Okay, end of worlds. I, I got it. I got it. They're supposed to be super powerful, but I mean, what does that even mean? How? How do they even get to stage three? With each stage, the timekeepers become more powerful, more powerful beyond belief, but they also get more defenseless. Well, then that's a good thing. I mean, how do we get him to stage three? I mean, if we get him to stage three, then- Beware. They are more than likely unstoppable in stage three. Oh, okay, I get it. They're unbeatable. They're unstoppable. Why even tell us then? I mean, what, you're gonna rub it in our faces that we can't defeat him? I, okay, woo, I get it. I mean, why even tell us? The one thing is, in stage three, they become the most emotional. Oh. Okay, I get it. So you can get under their skin. Okay, now I'm seeing kind of a plan. So if we reach this, they become more defenseless. They become powerful, like you said, beyond their wildest dreams. They can do anything. Ooh. But if we can get under their skin, leave the talking to me. I feel like we can do this. We gotta reach this stage three. To get to stage three, they need to be emotionally manipulated. Not many reach this zone. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. Why would we want to reach this ultimate power stage? You've seen what Xander has done before. I don't think we would want to trigger this. I mean, just considering the fact that he's manipulated our minds, this is way beyond anything that we can handle. That is kind of true. I mean, how would we stop this? Timekeepers can stop anybody. The thing is, is they like to hunt for their prey. Make them work. Torment them. Maybe. But I feel like I can stop him. I mean, Xander has done so many things. I mean, he's even literally just tried to destroy me on the spot. And I stopped him. Did his eyes glow? Yeah. His eyes were glowing and, and his, his voice was changing. He was furious. But I, I stopped him. I, I focused my power and I interrupted everything. I mean, that made him more mad. But it was kind of like it made him happy. In, in a creepy way, it was kind of like he enjoyed the challenge. Maybe you're right. Maybe he is trying to just toy with me. Maybe he is more powerful. I don't know. But I stopped him. I, I, I clearly stopped him. Uh, interesting. Maybe you do have power. <laughs> uh, that always hurts my head. Yeah, but I think... I think you're powerful enough. I mean, don't think what he's saying. I mean, he's a demon. He's trying to get into your mind. If anything, he's probably trying to corrupt you more. Just know that you have a lot of potential. I mean, you have power of the good. You have this orb that's infused within you. You can do it. And we're all here to back you up. This is a challenge of the century. But if anybody's able to do it, it's going to be you. Thanks. I mean, yeah, all of us together, we're, we're kind of underestimated. We can be really powerful. And, you know, together, everything is possible. But we have to be cautious. We have to listen. And in fact, I kind of want to focus my power a little bit to see if I can kind of pinpoint where he is. I want to be safe. Is that even possible? Can you even find out where he is? I mean, I know he has a sound, but... I mean, what else can you do? I don't know, I've been kind of developing my power recently. I feel like I'm getting even stronger. I can kind of tell where he is by his sound, yeah, but I feel like I'm getting, you know, Beth's, you know, innate ability of detecting magic energy. It feels a little different. Okay, go and see if you can figure out where this is. I feel like this is actually a pretty important thing. We have to figure out where this zone he goes to. Yeah, you're right. I feel like we need to figure out where he goes. I mean, where does he go? I mean, right now, if this is his whole dimension, like, where does he go when if he loses his power? Where is he? Okay, go around. Try to see if you can hear his sound or, or listen to his energy. We need to pinpoint where he is. We'll stay here, and we'll try to stay safe. All right, I guess I'll go. I'll, I'll try to figure it out maybe outside. I'll check the other rooms. 
He has to be around here. Okay, so I'm looking around. I'm trying to figure out what we can do. I mean, what if this dimension thing is not like we think it is? What if it's like, like the nightmare dimension? What if it's like a flipped version of this dimension? I mean, in the corrupted nightmare dimension, it's kind of just a still frame of just corruption. I mean, if you think about it, time doesn't move in that dimension. What if we can use that? Yeah. What if the dimension that Xander's in is not really what we're thinking about? What if he's essentially still looking down upon us, figuring out our plans? I mean, he could be anywhere, just kind of like invisible, watching. We gotta figure this out. Okay, I kind of hear a sound. Yeah. Yeah, it, it kind of sounds like it's coming from outside. Let's see. Okay, I, I kind of feel... I feel like a magical presence, but it goes beyond. It's beyond this. It's not like the outside dimension. It doesn't feel the same. It feels like there's just something giant just outside of view. What is this? Okay, okay. Okay, that's getting a lot closer. Oh, okay, no, no, no. I'm getting back. I'm, I'm going back. What is going on? Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Guys, 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 guys. Okay, um, I'm, I'm hearing it a lot closer now. I, I just started hearing it. Where did you hear it from? It sounds like it's coming in from the outside area. It's like it's moving toward us, like a, a looming power energy just arriving. I mean, if what I was sensing was his power, that thing was beyond incomprehensible. I feel like he's getting closer too. I, 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 I can feel it. I heard his noise, and I heard it going over and over and over again. It just, it kept getting closer and closer like he was arriving. <laughs> like he's ready. Like he's mad. I, I, I don't feel so good. I, honestly, I, I feel different. I, 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 I. Guys, 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 oh. What's going on? What's going on? So is this what it's come to? Oh, what have you done? What are you doing? Why do you keep messing with my mind? You got the confidence. <laughs> so you think you can toy with me? You can kick me out of your mind? <laughs> you don't like that, huh? You don't like getting cleansed out of people's minds, huh? I, I cleansed you out of Beth's mind. Granny cleansed you out of my mind. You think you can mess with us, huh? No, oh, you're wrong. I was one step away from destroying your family by leading them to their own doom. Well, you know what? You didn't. You didn't. Every single plan that you make, doesn't it frustrate you knowing that you can't do it? Are you trying to pick a fight with me? You know nothing of my power. I know the timekeepers are powerful, but look at you. Getting help from a demon because your power is too weak. You can't even stop us. You're nothing. You don't know how to do anything, and now you're trying to come here, manipulate our minds, because you're so weak! I could end you at any time. My power is far surpassing yours. You know nothing of me! I know you're not strong enough, and you know it too! I know that in this stage, your stage two is nothing, and you can't handle me! Ah, listen to me! I will crush you, and crush every last hope you have! Do it! I know you can't do anything, you've already taken my people away from me so I can't talk to them. You've already won in your own mind, but you can't do anything. You can't mess with my mind. I'm strong-willed, and you know that you can't affect me. And you want me to be vulnerable, and you want me to be weak, and think that I'm nothing. But I'm not. And you can't stand it. <sighs> I didn't want to do this, but you made me. I will take every last thing from you, you little worm. <laughs> Night, night. What? 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 I, I think I heard them in the other room. Guys, 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 Granny, Granny, Beth, Eve, Jack, no, no, please, please, it's me, it's me. What happened? What happened? I couldn't do anything. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? Wait, 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 wait. What happened? What happened? What happened? <laughs> he took her. I don't know. I don't know. He took her. What? Wait, wait, what? What happened? Beth, I don't know where she is. She's gone. <laughs>